Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today I received this cool pack. Okay, cool, it looks a bit strange, but this cool package and what's inside, let's find out together. Okay guys, I mean you read the title, but yes, these parts are drone parts for an FPV racing drone. Um, so I've not received all parts, okay, but I thought, okay, these are the main, first off, uh, motors. And yeah, of course, I've got four of these, two clockwise and two counterclockwise motors. Okay, next on with some dampers for a GoPro mount. Uh, well, let's see if that will happen. Then a bunch of XD60 connectors because yeah, batteries. Then these are ESCs, and they are stupid small. I thought they are like nearly double the size or so, but they are so incredibly small. I hope they can handle the and stay claim to be, um, be able to handle. Yeah, these are also from Raystar. Uh, they are quite cheap. So yeah, then we've got some nylon pillars for the frame. And here it is. Our 3D printed frame. Okay, um, yeah. No, you know, I think, uh, he already did the job. No, I'm not sure because I will have to rebuild this whole thing. I just assembled it to see how it will kind of look at the end. And I think we have to reprint the arms because there are two different versions of the arms for different motor size and I think I've printed the wrong one. So we will print them again, so don't worry guys, you will see a lot because um, I have these pillars to change against this pi these pillars and I will change all the uh, screws, so yeah, don't worry. And I've ordered a big pack of propellers because Crushing propellers is kind of a day job in FPV racing. Okay, guys, so um, let's continue. Okay, as you saw, I've just reprinted the arms. Why? Um, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so um, I've switched the camera to autofocus to show you this because um, I hope it will focus. You can see it. So um, the holes on the two arm versions are different, okay? Um, and let me get a motor. Um, I've now got a motor, one of the motors um, here. So um, these are the arms that I've printed at first. Um, I have these on the quad right now on the prototype build. And if you want, want this 22 mounter on there, it will sit like uh, somewhere like, no, something like that, okay? Um, you can't really see it. Let's do it like this. So, and that means that the cables um, down here will stand out sideways, okay? It's like a strange angel, uh, angle. And that sucks. Okay, and now there's the other version of the arm, and this allows us to mount this motor straight up. Okay, what I mean with that is that, um, that the cables come down straight from the motor, which of course is a lot better, and we don't have to wire the cable strange. So I have reprinted all the arms, and now I will kind of not destroy but disassemble our prototype. And just use the white two plates here again and the rest will change. Now let's assemble. Hey guys! <laughs> so, uh, if you, a bit of time passed and now I finally got the flight controller and I will show you it's the Matex the, the FC F405 CTR. Now today I'm going to mount everything on the quad that we need to actually fly. 
just enjoy the time lapse and I'll be back when I've finished the actual build. Okay, guys. Hey yo guys, welcome back. You saw just uh, yeah, you saw a time lapse now, but actually a few days passed and here is the quad. It looks pretty cool, I think, um, with the colors, blade propellers, to red parts, and everything. Yeah, but you see that I've already battery strips on here. So what actually happened was that I finished the quad and took it outside for a test flight. Without you guys, I'm so, so sorry. But I thought, hmm, it will not really be that interesting actually to, uh, for you to see it flying the first time without any FPV gear on it, okay? So it is flyable, it flies really good, really soft, um, no vibration issues with tolerance things from the 3D printer. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to change the transmit uh, receiver in the future. And yeah, now I thought let's add let's add FPV to this quad. So for that I got a few parts. First off with the VTX. It's pretty cool because it has switchable power. That means that I can change the send power of this thing because here in Austria we have um, some regulations about the maximum sending power uh, FPV devices like this um, are allowed to have. Okay, um, I also got a camera from Ishin. It's the 1000 TVL uh, camera. It's a pretty basic camera, nothing too special. And I 3D printed a little mount for it so I can mount it better. And as a goggle, as I am a completely beginner, I've needed to buy everything. I got the Ishin 800D boxed goggle, nothing too special, but a pretty good price value ratio. All the parts um, are from Banggood, but this isn't a sponsored video. I've all bought my all stuff is bought with my own money. So yeah, um, I will link everything in the description. So you basically can just buy everything that I bought and it will hopefully work because until now everything worked for me with the EC, the motor stuff, the props, everything. Um, let's hope that the FPV stuff will also work pretty nice. And I think you will see a time-lapse again of building um, or installing all the FPV parts and components. And then I hope I can go for a new flight. But maybe not today because it's rainy outside. So um, yeah, I will get to you if we get flying. And I, I would say, let's get back into building guys. Oh yeah! Hey ho guys, welcome back. The next day it's not rainy, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're outside now. FPV gear is all ready to fly. So we're gonna fly it, but you actually won't see footage from flying uh, from camera, uh, from the drone perspective, because I don't have a GoPro on yet. So this is something that I will change in the future and then an extra video will come with a few cool drone shots from the Pune 230. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas, concerns or whatever, feel free to leave a comment. Also leave a comment if you have uh, any experience with the Pune 230 frame itself or 3D printed drone frames. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do and I will now leave you alone with a few cool drone shots. Bye guys! Don't you know I fell for fools Gold I fell for fools Gold What did I know? What did I know? I fell for fools Did it all.
all for love Yes, I did it all for love 